Bonita. That's a yellow right there. I'll cut a rag. Nice. <laughs> Seaweed. Kelp fish. What's his name, Bobby? Put your, uh, no, uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Barracuda. Barracuda. Someone's line? Is that your line? Oh, boy, yo. Oh, no. Oh, no. Right to the seal. Oh, boy, under the bear. That would be out there. Was it? Yep. Over there? Out there? Ooh, that looks like a good one, legal one. Oh no! <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> I won't. What size line are you fishing? 20. 20 pound? Yeah. Yep, I got it. <laughs> I know. Look at that. Came right up. Oh, nice. Yep. Cool. Thank you. Ooh, my arms are toasted. Uh, 35. Thank you, boss. Going out. Oh, 
bonito. That's right, we're right here fucking hanging a couple of yellow tails, catching some bonito. something in the bottom. That feels like a bass. It's a bass. Calico. Short. Eat the bird. Oh, that's a big fucking. Oh. Hey, Ray, see lion here. Come on, stupid. We're trying to help you. Let's see why I ate the A-Rig. Work. There we go. Let's start with a jig and new spot. Come Bonito. Yep. Oh, yeah. There's a bite. Coming over. Choked it. Oh no. I'm living it, but I'm not loving it. <laughs> oh, my's going. Swimming. Oh, not the fresh one. Oh, came off. Nice. Up a little bit. Yep, like that. Thank you.
Yeah, you want it? I'm gonna put it over there. Yeah. Hey, watch my rod, right? Yeah. So now that we're back in my house, I'm gonna repair the yellowtail that I caught. Basically, I'm going to fillet the fish, detach all the meat off the bones, removing the bloodline, and prep for sashimi. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward the filleting. That way, we can get straight into the ingredients that I use and prep everything else. All right, now that all the filleting is done, let's jump into the ingredients that I will be using. Here we have the alfalfa sprouts, tasty masago eggs, radish sprouts, green onion, jalapeno, citrus ponzu, delicious crunchy garlic, and of course, the sriracha. Alright guys, now that we are done with the sashimi plate, wow, just look at this. This looks so delicious. Can't wait to dig in. Uh, yeah, let's talk about a little bit about my trip. Slow fishing, nonetheless, but uh, I did manage to catch that yellowtail. I'm very thankful for my buddy Van to call me and say, let's go out. My first session offshore this year. Uh, I've been super busy with work and, you know, just fresh water and whatnot, but super happy that I'm out here and to try this sashimi plate and to share with you guys all. So let's dig in. I mean, this is a sashimi plate, just kind of put everything together. So here goes the first bite. Oh, nothing beats fresh yellowtail or hamachi as you call it. 
from ocean to plate. This is probably the freshest you can get. Wow. I love the jalapeno spice. The ponzu, sweet ponzu. And you know what, to top it off, the best part I like about it is this crunchy garlic that you can get at the Korean supermarket. And with the masago, the eggs, just everything combined. Very flavorful. Mmm, top notch. I mean, I'm no chef by any means, but it's very tasty and good. Mmm, look how clear the meat is. Let me get a better face. All right, the dip in the ponzu with the sriracha flavor. Look at that. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. I gotta finish eating this. It's not like a mouthful. So tasty. I wish you guys can all try this. I just want to thank each and every one of you for uh, giving me the views and keeping up with the channel. If you haven't already, you know, subscribe, like, comment down below, and many more content to come. Uh, I'll be fishing a lot more this month uh, offshore. The tuna has been biting, so I'll probably make a trip offshore fishing, maybe a day and a half trip or so. So stay tuned, guys. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you. Until next time, guys, stay fishing. And some awesome sashimi. Let's go.